Good evening, Julio Cesar. We are going to get started in a couple of minutes, okay? Thank you for being here. Okay, okay, teacher. Okay, relax. See you later. I'm fine.
chicos tuvieron ustedes algún problema para ingresar? Because I didn't have any. Sí, good en un primer momento sí, pero ya ya pude. ¿Y, y qué conectar. habrá sido? ¿Qué habrá sido? Yo normalmente utilizaba el link eh, del correo, no el de WhatsApp. Oh, probablemente mm. su dispositivo lo, de, lo desconoció. Sí, uh -huh. probablemente. Sí, sí. sí intenten, ok. Pero si les enviaron el link otra vez ahora, ¿verdad? Sí, Yo con sí, sí. el que enviaron hoy entré y sí me presentó como un cambio de la de la ventanita de para unirme porque es por sí la actualización diferente. de Zoom es por la actualización pero solamente sí ajá porque sí se actualizó hace un par de días entonces ahora quizás hubo otra actualización eh, uh -huh. veamos Flor ya logró ingresar Flor cuál era el problema que le presentaba hola Ticha buenas noches Fíjese que este, me daba que no podía, que tenía que registrarme nuevamente. Es porque ha habido una actualización de Zoom, creo yo, ¿verdad? Y entonces sí, a veces cuando hay actualizaciones eso pasa. A mí me da problema a veces con el audio cuando hay actualización. Sí, porque hay que, hay que darle los permisos, ¿sí? Pero gracias a Dios ya estamos todos, ¿verdad? Ok, let's get okay. started, class. Thank you, I am so glad that all of you are here, class. And here we go. Flor, welcome. Uh, Miguel Ángel, thank you for being here. Very fresh on the top of the okay? <laughs> always. Julio good César evening, was here. Good evening, very early. And Freddy continues as a, as a listener. Okay. So remember class that today is our class number 15, right? Only five more classes. And then you're going to be in level number four. So congrats. And uh, I was checking the learning platform, okay, while I was not, you know, with my camera on. And let's see, Andrea Lisbeth is okay with her homework until week number three and the midterm. Carlos, everything is done. No, it is, you are owing me, Carlos, let me see. What is missing over here? Ah, the final test is missing, okay. But, yes. uh, uh -huh, okay. Elizabeth Johanna is not here. Evelyn is not here yet. Flor, oh, uh, let me see. Okay, Flor, you already took the final test, okay. Flor ya tomó el examen final también y el midterm. Todo hizo ya Flor. Uh, Freddy, Eliseo is showing me homework week two, homework week three, okay? Freddy, Eliseo, you are listening to me because you are a listener today. So I need you to complete your assignments in the platform, okay? Remember that it is 50 and 50 class. And uh, Kate said everything is done. Even the final test, I have her final grade. Julio Cesar, everything done too. Everything with 100%. Congratulations, Julio Cesar. Catherine, everything is done. Maria Isabel, she's owing me only homework number four and the final test, but for the rest, 100%. Leti, everything is done. Congratulations, excellent. Even the final test and homework in week number four. Mervyn, I don't know if Mervyn is here. Mervyn is showing me. Hmm, let me see. He has taken the final test and he got in the midterm 75%. Okay, that's good. Matthew is absent, right? Miguel, Angel. I need you to continue working in homework week number four, okay? But for the rest, it's okay, Miguel. Yeah. Okay, teacher. And uh, you are owing me, obviously, the exam, the final test, no problem. Natalie, Natalie is not here, okay? Rafael, I think he's not here, but he's done with everything. Even the final test, 100%. Rudy, are you here, Rudy? Let me see. No, Rudy is not here. 
Rudy. No. Good okay. evening. Good evening. Welcome, everyone. Okay, I'm going to continue checking here. And let's see in the other part of the list. Virginia is okay. And uh, Wilbur, everything is done. Okay, that's great. Only just a few. Congratulations for the ones who are done with everything, okay? Hey, Marvin, I was checking also your, your, your performance, okay? So let's get the started class because I have uh, more students right now. And here we go. I'm going to start presenting my PPT, okay? Here we go. Today is March 28th, correct? Yes. And uh, I know I was about to, but it went first than me, faster than me. Okay, so here, as I was telling you, class, today is March 28th, 2023. And here we have the agenda for our video conference number 15. Greetings as every day okay, that we have been meeting here in this virtual classroom. We're going to have a feedback on what we did yesterday. One of you is going to help me reading the objectives. In the pre-task, we have to review vocabulary about communication in the workplace. And the preparation task is to give suggestions about formal and informal phrases. The task is to create a list of requests that you make in the workplace. And we're going to continue working with the manual. So here we go. I need one volunteer to help me reading the objectives. Who is going to be the volunteer today? Me, teacher. Okay, sir, please go over. Object, objective, a specific objective. The student will be able to review unit vocabulary about communication in the workplace. Very well. Class objective, student. Students will be able to review unit vocabulary about communication in the workplace. Excellent, very well. So these are our, our objectives. The specific one and the class objective, the one for today. And here we go. Again, a reminder for the ones who joined recently because I was checking the, the platform, okay, a couple of minutes ago. And let me see if there is someone, okay. Ah, uh, Hazel is okay, Rafael is okay with the homeworks and with the final test. And also Rudy has been working uh, very hard in the platform. Let me see Rudy, because I was mentioning your name. Okay, regarding to that issue, because today is our class number 15, Rudy, uh, you need just to continue working in the homeworks for unit number four, okay? Teacher, and the teacher. final test and everything is done. Your homeworks, Rudy, for unit one, two, and three are 100%, no problem. But let me see for them, for the midterm. Teacher. Rudy, yes? Este, fíjese de que estuve teniendo problemas en la plataforma porque estuve ingresando la, lo que pide ahí y este, y no me aparece la, la o sea, ya intenté de muchas formas. ¿No le aparece no, qué cosa? No me aparecen como buenas, estoy en una lección del ¿En una lección de qué? De, donde se usa el going to. Esa, esa situación la, la trabajamos la vez anterior, se recuerdan de are going to, en esa, ¿verdad? Ah, sí, sí, sí. Tiene, tiene que darle refresh a la página y escribe are going to, pero con minúscula, ¿sí o no? Si, yes. no, se la no. Acepta, si no se la acepta con minúscula, hágale refresh a la página otra vez y escríbalo con mayúscula, pero tiene que darle refresh. ¿Ok? Ah, ok. Y tiene que hacer el ejercicio de nuevo, porque así es como se los aceptó. Si no, creo que lo toma como error, ¿verdad? Y como que hay un bloqueo ahí. Uh -huh. Inténtelo uh -huh. así, porque así lo resolvimos la vez anterior acá en la clase, ¿sí? Y sí les funcionó a la mayoría. Pero uh, déjeme decirle, let me tell you that 
Homeworks for week number one, two, and three. Uh, Rudy, you have 100%. But uh, in the midterm, no sé si no ha terminado el examen eh, intermedio. Sí, ya lo terminé. Ok, let me see. Eh, me, me da la plataforma un 95%, ¿sí? Sí. Ok, entonces usted ya me está trabajando, ¿verdad? Las tareas en el, la sección 4, ¿sí? Sí. Sí, porque acá me aparece que ha trabajado un 20%, me estaría debiendo solo lo de la unidad 4 ya, y el examen final, and that's ok, ya, ok. En mi caso es, es igual, ¿verdad? Te debo parte del, de la última semana y el midterm. Correcto, no, el, el final test. Me, el eh, final a test, usted, sorry. Carlos, me aparece que ha trabajado el 40% del homework de la semana 4, ¿verdad? Está ah, bien okay. el okay. examen final, sí. por lo demás tiene 100, 100, 100, ¿ok? No ok, problem. ok. Ok, Thank great. You. Y Rafa, que todo ya 100%, yes. Okay. Ah, Miss Evelyn, welcome. We have been missing you, Miss. La hemos estado extrañando, Miss Evelyn. Evelyn, you are owing me homeworks for week number three. I, I perceive that you have been very busy, okay? Me imagino, percibo que ha estado muy ocupada, pero eh, trabajeme en, la, en el homework de la unidad tres y de ser posible en la... Cuatro. Recuerden que van a, van a tener el periodo de vacaciones por el problema que tuve yo de, de la conexión, ¿verdad? Que no tuve internet porque teníamos eh, problemas acá en, en, en todo el sector. Era un problema generalizado de la, de la servidora, proveedora de internet. Y pues el siguiente día que amanecía fónica, no podía trabajar con ustedes. Entonces esos días los vamos a recuperar después de vacaciones. Por lo tanto, las personas que están pendientes van a tener ese periodo. Pero el lunes 10 que regresemos debe de estar ya todo terminado para quienes, miren, hay quienes me deben todo. Hay dos estudiantes que me deben todo, literal, everything. Así es que tienen ese espacio, ese periodo de gracia, ¿verdad? Entonces les agradeceré que se pongan al día, pero la mayoría se van a vacaciones free, ¿ok? Completamente libres porque ya completaron sus tareas y ya solo esperando el diploma y que terminemos y el, eh, algunos van a tener el 95, 98, 99% de asistencia y de participación, ¿verdad? Porque se han estado participando bastante y todo cuenta. Recuerden, todo, todo cuenta, ¿sí? Ok. Y yes. Y la otra semana no van a haber clases. Eh, no. Regresamos el día? lunes. No, porque es la Semana Santa. Regresamos el día lunes 10 de abril. Ah, ok. ¿Sí? Sí, porque la otra semana se toma como periodo de, de, de vacación, no, no laboran INSAFOR ni nosotros, ¿verdad? Entonces no hay monitoreo de clases ni nada. Entonces nosotros nos vamos a vacaciones el viernes después de la clase, después de la clase. Y no antes, no antes, no se me van a ir a la playa antes, algunos se me fueron el fin de semana anterior, ¿verdad? Como por ejemplo el niño que anda very tan, que anda muy bronceado. <risa> Pero eh, regresamos el lunes 10, ¿de acuerdo? Y el martes 11 eh, sería la última clase, completaríamos la encuesta y terminamos los temas, ¿de acuerdo? Ok, now let's continue. Recuerde que... Teacher. Yes. Teacher nos va a compartir lo, los, las, las websites, lo, los quiz de Grammar. Ah, sí, pero miren, también ahí en el manual ustedes tienen... Ya vamos a ah, ver. Ustedes okay, okay. ingresan también okay, ahí. Okay. Tienen, ¿ok? Para que vayan participando. Okay. Lo que sucede es que, okay. mire, como han estado trabajando en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Y algunos están como que un poquito uh, behind de la tarea, de las tareas. Entonces, por eso yes. he decidido. Pero en estos días que van a tener un tiempecito de relax para que lo tomen como entertainment and review, sí les voy a enviar algunos links, ¿ok? Para que continúen practicando con las diferentes estructuras gramaticales, ¿de acuerdo? Ok. okay. Remember, class, you are always in my mind, ¿ok? Ok. Recuerden, siempre están aquí, pero sí hay gente que me tiene que trabajar desde la sección 1, entonces ellos están atrasaditos, ¿ok? Any other question? 
No questions. Okay, let's continue. And that was the big reminder for the homeworks and evaluations. Recuerden que al menos el 80%, pero si no me han entregado nada, aunque se hayan conectado el 100%, si no aparece nada en la plataforma, mm -mm, so sorry, ¿verdad? Ya no es decisión mía, sino que es parte de lo establecido por Instacorp. And then here the requirements, your full name, eh, in case that you are a listener, add the word listener after your name, the camera must be on, minimize the sound as much as possible, active participation, active participation in the breakout rooms, okay? Participación activa en los breakout rooms, porque luego ahí algunos se quejan que hay unos estudiantes que no participan, okay? So here, attendance 100% is expected, and they send you today a reminder. The administration sent you a reminder about this. La administración les envió un recordatorio este día de los 120 minutos conectados, porque cada minuto, cada segundo cuenta, ¿de acuerdo? Hay quienes se retiran antes de la hora de que termine, entonces esos minutos los pierden. The attendance is taken twice at about 8.20 and at about 9.40. And remember that it is going to be taken as effective when it is listened to the participants say, presente, here I am, present, or here. And the camera must be on. And at the end, there is a, the one-on-one -on -one session, 18 minutes, in order to reinforce pronunciation, grammar, vocabulary, or any doubt that you might have. On my side, remember, I don't have the authorization to give you permission to skip classes. No tengo autorización yo para darles permiso, ¿verdad? Soy una simple picture. Entonces, lo que hace la, la, la administración es que toma nota y hace un reporte de su inasistencia y la justificación que usted da por su ausencia, ¿de acuerdo? This is the expectation, and you know that uh, in Zoom, it is expected the camera on, the, the chat in Zoom is available, but also the WhatsApp, the breakout rooms. And when you are working in the breakout rooms, you have the ask for help button. And I always ask you respect above all, and you do it. So here we are. Today is March the 28th, so today is the deadline. Hoy es el día para que todos me hayan subido su tarea number three. And we are going to remain only week number four. And we are going to be finishing this level on Tuesday, April the 11th. Is that okay? Okay, now let's go over the feedback. Class, what do you remember about we, what we practiced yesterday? ¿Se recuerdan de lo que hablamos ayer, lo que practicamos ayer? ¿Qué practicaron ayer? I forgot um, everything. A mí se etiquette. me olvidó todo. Etiquette. Are you sure? Etiquette. Okay. And what is etiquette? I don't know. Would you tell me? Etiquette Yo no sé qué es work. eso de etiqueta. ¿Qué es eso? Mm -hmm. It is a word. <clears throat> is is a rule behaviors. Um, and what's more? Mm -hmm. Come on. It is a set of rule behaviors under different circumstances, yes? Yes. Because it depends yes. the situation where you are in, that is the expected behavior, yeah? Okay, now listen class, I'm going to take the picture right now because I have about 18 people connected. So activate your cameras. Okay, Miss Maria Isabel, <laughs> what's going on? Are you eating something or what? Ahorita que no tenemos sueño todavía. Yes, that's it. Okay, ay, that is an excuse. Esa es una excusa para, para los ojos tristes. Almost at the end of the class. Okay, um, Mateo, are you going Thank to activate you. The, 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 the camera, Mateo? Aquí. Creo que venía en camino. Okay, and Elizabeth Johanna, she's not going to activate the camera. Okay, class, to the count of three, a huge smile, please. One two, three, smile. I'm going to share it. Okay, very well, Virginia. And you tell me if that is okay or if, 
we need okay another one even with the time that it was taken okay great nos vamos a graduar de este módulo, Tish. Yes, obviously. Obviously, si se van a graduar. Okay. Ahí okay. van a 100%. Okay, ahí está la foto de los que yeah. inician y los que terminan. Porque <laughs> quienes ya no continúan en el módulo por diferentes okay. razones. Pero si ustedes se fijan, han sido bastante persistentes, ¿verdad? Bastante responsables. So, congratulations. Y necesito que las personitas que les dije que no me han trabajado nada en esta vacación, me actualicen todo, ¿ok? Recuerden, jueves y viernes tenemos clase. Después nos vamos a la playa. No, la vacación es para ir a la playa. La vacación es para reflexionar. ¿Sí o no? Yeah. Ajá, that yeah. is the purpose, yeah. no es uh, to have a vacation. Yeah, sí, sí. Yo yeah, omitiré sí. mi cumpleaños este año porque es viernes santo. Ah. <risa> Siete no. de abril. Y no, y no, hay, no hay que hacer ruido, no, no hay. Sí, ah, sí. este fin de semana. Que, oh, ya, qué buena idea este fin de semana. Or after, before or after, right? But not that day. No, deje de celebrarse. Sí, pero ese día no. No, no, no. No, ese día no, no. Por Torreja, Torreja. No, 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 María. Ah, what did you ¿Cómo? say? Con nueve dos. Somos oh, diez de nueve. Ah, ya tengo el pescado. Oh, ok, <ríe> mire. Okay. 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 Great 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 <laughs> okay, Andrea Lisbeth, are you here, Andrea? Present. Okay, thank you, Miss. Carlos. Present. Elizabeth Johanna. Present. Thank you, Miss. Evelyn. Present. Flor de Morena. Present teacher. Freddy, Eliseo. From outer space, here I am, teacher. Okay, Freddy, thank you, Hazel. Here. Julio Cesar. Present. Catherine. Present. Great, Catherine. Maria Isabel. Present. Leti, Maria no. Leticia. Hmm? Present. Que se arruinó. <laughs> Marvin, Marvin, where are you? Thank you. Matthew, Mateo. Mm. Mute, Matthew. Miguel Ángel. Present teacher. Thank you, Matthew. Eh, Natalia. Natalia is something for what? Rafael. Present teacher. Thank you. Rudy. Present teacher. Thank you, Virginia. Present teacher. Wendy absent. Wilbur. Present teacher. The lost boy, el chico perdido. Okay, here we go. Uh, Class, I'm going to share with you at this moment what you were doing yesterday. And as Rafael uh, well said, yesterday we were talking about good etiquette. Good, specifically good etiquette at the workplace. And we were reading here this article, if you remember, but first you were discussing these questions in exercise number one. Later, we read this paragraph. Okay. It is not paragraph, actually, it is an article of four paragraphs. And after that, you went over this comprehension, reading comprehension sentences and questions, and you chose one of them, right? So here I need uh, four volunteers. Okay, Miss Hazel, you are volunteer number one. Paragraph one is yours, yeah? Uh, let's okay. see, um, Isabel, paragraph two, yes? Uh, let me see. I'm going to choose it through the finger. Rafael. Okay. okay. Number three. Number three. Okay. Yes. And let me see. Andrea. 
Andrea Lisbeth. Hello, Andrea. Paragraph four is yours. Okay, let's begin with paragraph one. Excel. There are many workplace etiquette guidelines, but the most important is to be punctual to your office. If you are late because you had an emergency, that is okay. Whoever habitual late comers are never appreciated in the organization, in any organization. Um, if you get to your office on time, you show that you are responsible and you respect the organization. If you know that you will be late, then a good, then a good etiquette guideline will be to call the concerned authority and report the reason why you are late. Excellent, thank you. Now, paragraph number two. Etiquette is also important when you have to communicate with employees or your clients in any part of the world. In those cases, it is necessary to have good knowledge in the workplace, email etiquette of other countries. In the office emails, you need to mention the subject clearly and be concise. You also, you also, also need to include all the important details. You should use formal and grammatically correct language, language for emails. Paragraph three. In addition, in addition, knowledge of telephone etiquette in the workplace is very essential. We have to speak on telephone at some point during our daily work. Be polite when you talk to your employees or your supervisors. Listen to what they say carefully and do not interrupt. Be sure your voice is clear when you speak to avoid wrong interpretations. Excellent. Now, number four. Etiquette guidelines are important even when you are celebrate, celebrating with your co-workers. If you get a car when you are eating, say excuse me and then receive the car. Do not take lowly will eating and remember to close your mouth when you show. You should remember that your behavior and manners are under observation. Following etiquette, uh, the lines can play a, a, very, a very vital role for future promotion. Thank you. I think that this is more than essential, the last paragraph, because etiquette guidelines are important, everything is important as I have told you. But uh, even when you are celebrating with your coworkers for, in some places, they cut a cake for the birthday people, birthday employees of the monks, right? So in that case, if you get a call when you are eating, you say, excuse me, and then you move to another place in order to receive the call. And do not talk loudly. Don't shout while eating. If you are eating, you don't have, it is better not to talk, right? But in the case that you do it, don't uh, do it loudly. And remember to close your mouth when, when you chew, okay? Cuando tú masticas. You should remember that your behavior and manners, que tu conducta y modales, manners, modales, behavior, forma de proceder o conducta, are under observation because everybody keep an eye on the rest of the people. Following etiquette guidelines can play a very vital role for future promotions because it depends on your behavior, how you interact with other people, the way that you um, socialize, okay? So this is basically what we did yesterday in the breakout rooms. You were practicing a lot, reading and pronunciation, and you went over this uh, for sentences and questions in order to complete, and you had to choose the best alternative. 
Also, you summarize in the breakout rooms five etiquette guidelines from the article. And over here was your production because you wrote a brief uh, etiquette manual for the year 2023 for your workplace. And we have variations, okay? A big variety and you share with the class. And here, class, you have at page 36, podcast about cultural awareness and etiquette, okay? Video lesson plus quiz about the phone etiquette. Quiz about vocabulary related to etiquette. So I invite you to log in to this uh, website later or in vacation and you are going to have listening comprehension practice, okay? And also you have here some tests or quizzes in order to measure your comprehension, your understanding. And now here we go. It is vocabulary practice. I need you to find the 10 words from the box below in the word search, okay? You're going to do it uh, individually right now, okay? And those words are etiquette, guidelines, polite, manners, regards, punctual, latecomer, behavior, salutation, and subject. That is at page, uh, let me see, 37, okay? Are you ready? Let's begin. Okay. Okay, you try to do it individually. Remember to look, okay, for those who are in all the directions as possible. Let's see which ones can you find. They are etiquette, guidelines. I'm going to show you the words while you look them in the word search, okay? Etiquette, guidelines, polite, manners, regards, punctual, latecomer, behavior, salutation, and subject, okay? I have the first one. I'm going to help. Oi. Oi. Okay. It is over here. Yeah. This one. I am helping you with the first one. That I found. I found three teachers. Okay. Three okay. Very well. Continue. When you finish, you tell me so we can compare. Okay. And here I help you with one salutation. You continue with the others. You can do it. I'm going to show the words so you find them. Isabel finished. Yes, Isa. Okay, great. Thank you. Finished. Okay, thank you. Maybe two more minutes for the rest of the class. Yes. Finished, teacher. Excellent. Finished, teacher. Great. Very well. Congrats. Two more minutes for the rest of the class to finish, okay? Finish, people? Finish. Okay, great. So listen, what we are going to do right now, 
I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms. You are going to compare, okay? Your uh, word search, and you're going to identify if the words are correctly found. Van a verificar si las palabras están correctamente eh, identificadas, ¿ya? And later, when you finish class, you are going to go over exercise number two. From these words, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. You are going to choose five words from this word search and write sentences. One sentence per each. In other words, you find or you choose five words and you write five sentences. One for each of the words. If you choose latecomer, then you write one sentence using the word latecomer and so on. Are the instructions clear? Yes? Yes, it is. Okay. Yes, it is. Remember that later we're going to share here in the main session room, okay? First, you compare your words in the word search and later you go over the construction of the sentences. Here we go. Remember everybody participating. Practice makes perfect. No me aparece. Vamos a ver. Wilber. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Mm, Andrea. Okay. Evelyn. Woody. Okay, here we go. I'm going to send you right now the invitation. Todos están solo con un dispositivo, ¿verdad? Sí. Okay. Right now, I sent you the invitation, guys. I have sent you the invitation. Please join your groups if you are so nice. Let's compare your word search and let's begin writing the sentences. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Fredis, go to your group. Matthew, go to your group, please. Rafa, your group. Rudy, go to your group. Rudy, Rudy, go to your group. Rudy, your group is number three. Okay. Matthew, your classmates are waiting for you in group number four. Matthew, Matthew, Matthew. Mateo, lo necesitamos en el grupo. Bye, Mateo. <risa> ah, sí, está, ah. está a la izquierda, a la derecha, en la segunda línea. Eh, eh, de abajo hacia arriba. Ah, ay, ya la tengo marcada. Lo único que no le he puesto el chequecito a la palabra. Ah, que ya... ah pues sí, ya está. <risa> ya está. Estamos ahí con las 10. Diez... Ok, entonces agarramos cinco. Eh, elijamos. Eh, y cinco. creo que una de las pero más fáciles es punto, eh, puntual, puntual. ¿Cómo se, cómo se dice? Puntual, puntual.
Hello. Teacher, yes, nomás sir. si vamos a, a revisar lo de la sopa de letras y a repasar lo de la conversación. No, ¿cuál no. conversación? Tiene que Pero construir... No, vaya, revisa okay. la word search, ¿verdad? Que esas palabras estén correctamente eh, mm -hmm. identificadas acá. Luego van a seleccionar de estas 10 palabras 5. Con esas 5 palabras van a construir una por cada una, una oración. Y las van a escribir acá, ¿sí? Luego las vamos a compartir okay. en el main session room, ¿ya? Ok. Ok, thanks. Ok. Acá está Julio César y Rudy, ¿verdad? Yes. Con ustedes, ok. Sí. Ok, great. Como de... Eh, ¿Cómo sería? Como... ¿Cómo como es que dice? Quiero ver. Dice... ¿En cuál? ¿Which one paragraph is? In the number... In the paragraph four. Etiquette ah, guideline. The last one. Ah, the last ah etiquette guideline. No importa que... No, recuerden que las oraciones tienen que ser originales, ¿verdad? Yes, yes. Yes, okay. Sí, lo leo. Okay, it's okay. happened that I, I, one, I don't two. know what... What's meaning this? Uh, Which one? A word. Guidelines. Uh, guidelines. Yes. It's a set. I, I, didn't, I didn't know what's means. Okay. Mm -hmm, yes. Um, They are like rules. Yes. Uh -huh. And then I, I continue with uh, um, to do... Writing the sentences, uh-huh. Yes, write the sentence with the, the, these words. Yeah, with five, with only five. Okay. But only remember, five. subject, verb, complement, okay? Okay. Saludos. Saludos. Ya, solamente estoy intentando escribir en el chat, pero no me deja. No sé por qué. <ríe> Se volvió loca. Aquí. Tampoco. ¿No? Rigarse es como un saludo, pero de... A farewell, de despedida. Para... Farewell. Farewell, ah. saludo de despedida. Regards. Regards. Yes. Salutation. Salutation is the llegada. No, no. Salutation. Es un saludo. Salutation. Okay, let's see here. Podemos poner eh, en, en esa eh, Mi secretaria me saluda todos los días, algo así. Ok. Ok, pero ¿por qué no me dejes escribir en el chat? Ay, no. Salutation, Wilbur, might be probably more focused to emails. ¿Ya? Email. Or letters, Ajá. salutation. El saludo, Ajá. pero de un documento de escrito. Un, de un email. Ajá. Ajá. Y, y, Because... y rigors es de despedida. Ajá, y in that, in that, uh, uh, in that, that written... Rigor. No, también no, en un documento siempre escrito. De... Ajá. Ajá, ok. Because uh, when you are face to face, you say bye bye, see you. Okay, see another, you later, uh, see you tomorrow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
aún no puede escribir María Isabel en el chat. Very rare. Seguro que lo tiene activo, el chat, porque el micrófono no lo tiene activo. Dice sí, que me lo cierra cuando quiero mandar el mensaje, me cierra la... la, la lo que sucede es que quizás lo tiene para privado, no enviar a todos. <risa> Sí, solo para usted sí. o solo para alguien, ¿verdad que sí? No, un chat privés. Pero está. Que sí. <risa> the computer has to have reactions. Ya sé que no, teacher. Bueno, voy a intentarlo de nuevo. Voy no, en el chat, ya cuando lo tiene abierto, ahí ya cuando a enviar, ¿a quiénes se lo va a enviar? Ay, María Leticia, hola, está escribiéndole. Para ver, quería ver sí. si, si no, es me que permite. Su... Es que el suyo sí, el de ella es el que tiene privado. No lo tiene para ah, todo el mundo, entonces okay. por eso se lo cierra. Yo no sé qué es lo que estaba escribiendo ella antes de la clase. <risa> <risa> We don't know, no one knows. Entonces, porque ahí tienen las opciones con quienes, hacia quienes va dirigido, ¿verdad? Ok, mm. pero sí, ya vio que sí, le comprobó Leti que sí, es posible, <risa> está available. Si no, estoy contradiciendo lo que les digo al principio, que los chats están available. <risa> <risa> ok, see you. Ok. okay. okay. Ah, sí, ya me dejó. Ya. Ah, pues ya. ah, so you see. Ah, <risa> ya le quito el private. No, <risa> es que no estaba así, no sé por qué. Uh -huh. <risa> magic, magic. Ah, ok, you know, tech problems, tech problems. Ok. Los no, míos, no sé. Sí, les comparto. Claro, compañero, la escuchamos. Gracias. Acá solo usted, perdón, perdón, Miss Hetzel, acá solo ustedes tres estaban. Um, eh, no, creo que hay una persona que se desconectó, no me recuerdo muy bien, pero dijo que ya ah, volvía. Sí, es cierto. No era Mateo, de casualidad. No, 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 no era una niña. Ah, sí, una, okay. una señorita. El, el, mm, probably Andrea Lisbeth. No, yo aquí estoy, ah, Flor Rodríguez. Ok, estoy viendo la lista y estoy viendo acá los grupos. Catherine. No, Katrin está en el equipo 4. ¿Quién sería? Bueno, ya Es Flor para... Rodríguez. Ah, ok. She lost the connectivity problem. Ok. But you have been working in a, in a nice way. Yes, actively. Sí han yeah. estado trabajando todo, ¿verdad? Ok, I don't interrupt you anymore. Bye, continue, please. No problem, bye. Ok. Les decía que yo elegí behavior... Educate, punctual, so. Puede ser, you have to be, uh, pero aquí tendríamos que buscar, ah, sí. Uh, ¿Cuál es? You have to be punctual in your world. ¿Cómo? Ahorita se la voy a enviar. Y ahí me dice si estaría bien. Sí. Pienso que sí está bien. Ah, pues se escriba para que ya vaya a la. ¿Cuántas tenemos? No hace falta una que es la que no entendimos de primero. Nosotros vamos a escoger una ah. de las otras. Ajá. Vaya, voy a ver si lo voy a hacer. De college. No, ahí han escrito mal eso. College. Ustedes escribieron de college. Hola. ¿A dónde? En el Rufa, chat. No. Rudy, Rudy. Ah, es que sería ah. de colleague, de colleague. Rudy, sí, falta. Ah, hay una, una letra ahí. Sí. Corríjanme esa palabrita, ¿ok? De okay. colleague es a latecomer. Okay. Si no, sería la universidad, la facultad. 
de la universidad, ¿ok? Ok, okay. ¿Quién está con...? Permítanme, no me es aquí. Tengo que ir a ver quién está. Ahí sí. Ah, Rudy, de Colir, ok. Ahí sí. Es que... Ok, Rudy con el correo ahí. No le aparecía el nombre. Él queda en otro chat. Y para, pues sí, por la asistencia, verificando. Si me toca estar en muchas cosas aquí con ustedes. Sí. Ok, bye. Bye. Las, las pausas de etiqueta son importantes en nuestro trabajo, en nuestro diario vivir. No sé, como una frase. ¿Para qué son importantes esto? Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Ok, what do you mean in the first one, Rafael? What's a Riley comrade at work? What do you mean? In past tense. Eh, que llegó tarde al trabajo. Arrived, yes. Rafael, arrived. Eliminate was. Was, okay. Rafael, arrived. Late at work, no late comer. Arrived late. Eliminate late uh -huh. at work, period. Uh, okay, punto y seguido acá. He is a late comer. He is a late comer. Okay. Late comer. Es un tardista. Full uh, stop. Uh -huh. And he must be with capital letter. Okay. El pronombre personal con mayúscula. La edad. Yes, that's okay. Catherine sent okay. an email without subject. Okay. Está bien. <laughs> sí, solo que le hace falta el full stop, el punto final. Okay. Okay, very well. Okay, the number three people. Mm, the number three. Uh, the guidelines could be. Um, the etiquette guidelines are important in our environment, on, in laboral environment. The Did etiquette you? guidelines. Guidelines. Very important. No, are are very important in how uh, for for like that Will be. No suena bien. Check out the word etiquette, the spelling. It is missing a T. Etiquette. Okay. Double T. Double T. Okay. No, at, at the end, at the end. At the end. At the end. Etiquette okay. guidelines are very. Very with why important for behavior and manners. It's okay. You eliminate two. Only the etiquette guidelines are very important for behavior and manners. And that's okay. 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 The next one sentence um 
we use to, uh, for example, puntual, what to use with puntual? Yo no sé por qué cuando lo pongo en el traductor eh, me lo cambia. Porque lo que puse de poner en recién llegado y me pone en lugar de ponerme late comer, me pone newcomer. ¿Será que mi traductor? Porque está... late, no, porque late comer es una cosa y recién llegado es otra cosa. Newcomer. Late comer son los tardistas. Ah, ah pues. Es que, es que estábamos haciendo la razón. No, recién llegados. Uh -huh. No, que son nuevos en la compañía. Ajá, de, de New People. Ah, pues es que pusimos... Ajá. The new... ¿Puede ver el chat, Piche? Por the new boss is like... Es que no me, no, no okay. me aparece el, el, el de ustedes acá. Ah, es que como acaba de entrar, el, de le quita. Ajá, uh -huh. ajá, correcto. Así ve, Piche. Okay. Teacher, the new boss is latecomer at the company. Ya, yeah, sí, llega tarde. Es un tardista. The new boss. Is valid. The new boss is a latecomer. Yeah, but is, with is, at the beginning with capital T. Is. Ajá, uh -huh. okay. is uh, a latecomer. Porque siempre llega tarde. Latecomer. Es el jefe. Ajá. Okay. It's a latecomer pero en el sentido que llega tarde. I am a latecomer. No. Really? Oui. <laughs> no, I don't think so. No, no I joke. don't think so. Yes, no. I don't think so. Now, no matter if there is a chaotic traffic jam, you need to wake up very, very early to be on time. Yes. <laughs> there's no excuse. They say there's always yes. everyday traffic. Yeah. So, Wake up at 2 a.m. in order to be at 7 or at 8, correct? Okay, continue, class. Teacher, solo era lo de las. Sopa de letras y las oraciones que vamos a hacer. ¿verdad? Yes, did you finish the five sentences? Yes. Ok, could you read them for me, please? Me las podría leer. Ok. You have here the word etiquette in your work. Excuse me, say it again. You have. Eh, no sé cómo se, escribe, se pronuncia hear has escuchado la palabra ah, ok uh -huh. pero cómo se pronuncia esa palabra heard 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 ok you have heard the word etiquette in your work you heard Tú escuchaste, oíste, ¿sí? Sí. You yes. heard the word, así. Etiquette. Eti 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 you a word. At work. En el trabajo. In At In work. In a work, no, en un trabajo. At work. At work. At work. Okay. Uh -huh. The next one. You are very polite with everyone. Polite. Polite. You are very, you are very polite, polite with everyone. 
Yes? Yes. Next one. You should always have good manners. You should always have good manners. Okay, next one. You have to be punctual in your work. Okay. You have to be punctual at work. Okay. The colleague is a late comer to the company. Is a late comer at the company. Yes. Okay. Yes. Congratulations. You did a great job. Okay. Yeah. Thank Very you. well. Okay, now let's return and let's begin sharing with the other partners, okay? Okay. okay. Very well. Okay, class, volunteers to share your sentences with the class. In group Maybe number sure. one, Maybe we sure. have, okay, thank you. Here we go, okay, Carlos, your group. Um, Carlos, you begin or creo que te estás en mute. Are you there, Catherine? Uh, maybe Catherine uh, help us to read it. Catherine. Catherine. No. Please. Uh, Reading the, the first sentence, please. The number one, Catherine. Okay. <laughs> Rafael arrived late and work. He is late, late comer. Okay. And uh, Rafa? Catherine sent Catherine sent an email without subject. Okay. The, the number three is the etiquette guidelines are are very important for behaviors and manners. Your Carlos, next. Okay, and the number four. Uh, he is a very punctual boy. He is very punctual and never misses any period. And this one, Beatriz is polite with co worker. Congrats, very well done. Okay, thank you. Thank you for sharing. 
Thank you for sharing. Okay. Okay, now the okay, next okay. team. The next team. Miguel Angel, your group. Yes, teacher. With Hazel um I don't remember. Me. <laughs> Andrea. Okay. Yes. Uh, begin your Hazel, please. It's so fair, but it's okay. <laughs> Behavior it's a very important uh, behavior it's very important have a good behavior in a social context and the other one a uh, punctual it's a very important rule of the etiquette probably we we'll say punctuality punctuality because no, it's because a noun. I because, start because no, it is because, a noun. Yes, that I didn't. Eh, I inicié la frase como be be punctual. Ah, entonces no be punctual, no being punctual. Okay, add uh, to the verb to be add ing. Being punctual, ser puntual. Being punctual. Okay, next, Miguel. Okay. Um, my is, is it's important to to be polite to all my coworkers. Uh, we must be punctual in our appointment. So in the first one that you read, it is it is important to be polite to all okay. my work coworkers. Excellent. It is. That's it. Very well. Uh, do we have another participant in your group, Miss Hazel and Mr. Santos Cortez? Andrea is Andrea. Andrea, where are you? Uh, behavior, behavior week, we, perdón, behavior between. Partners must be decent. Polite manners are essential in personal relationship. In a conversation, you have to wait for three if blinds and respond. Okay. That's it. It's perfect. Congratulations to the group. Okay, you did a great Thank job. You. Now, do we have volunteers or do I name the other group? Nosotros. Okay, Miss Isabel's group. Javier y Leticia y quién más estaba? No me acuerdo. Pero <laughs> comenzar. Déjeme ver si aquí estamos todos. Sí, aquí estamos. Two, two sentences. Okay. okay. This, uh, when you said Javier, Isabel, I started Javier, Javier, a new partner, and it is Wilber Francisco Javier. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 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 Employees must be punctual. My co workers have good manners in this company. Uh, Leti. Leti. Uh, my co workers had good. Manners. Uh, the new boss is a latecomer at the company. And, and in the company have guidelines of, of behavior for employees. That's it. That's it, teacher. Very well done. The next team. Había alguien más, creo, con nosotros o no. No, ahí está. No, está. Oh, sí, uh -huh. sí, había dos más. Uh, Evelyn, <risa> Julio, and Rudy. Yes. 
Um, me pediré la, la primera y la segunda. Okay. You heard, you heard, heard the word etiquette at work. You are very polite with everyone. The colleague is a latecomer to the company and you should always have a good menu. You have to you have be punctual in your work. You have to be. You have to be punctual in your work. Sorry. Okay, punctual. Punctual. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for your attention, Rudy. The colleague is at what is the pronunciation to the late, comer teacher? Late comer. Late comer, okay. The colleague is a late comer to the company. Okay, thank you. Hey, you did an excellent work. Congratulations, class. Very well done, okay, in the feedback of the uh, unit. And now let's continue. Here we go. You are using the vocabulary, okay, that we have been practicing in the unit. And over here, exercise number three. Would you mind and could you? Do you remember that structure? You have to identify and correct three mistakes in the request below. Identify and correct. You analyze the sentence, for example. Number one is done for you as an example, as a guide. Would you mind moving your car? It's blocking mine. Is it correct or incorrect? It's incorrect. Why? The bird is in ING. Pues sí, pero así tiene que no. ser. Así tiene no, que ser con la frase, no, no, would you correct, mind? Correct, It is correct. correct. It's blocking it's correct. mine. Está ah, okay. bloqueando al mío. Yeah, okay. this is what you have to feedback. The structure of the verbs with would you mind and with could you, okay? So if the sentence is incorrect, you have to write it again in the correct way, okay? So only go over exercise number three. Don't get in trouble with the other ones. You need to analyze correctly. Is it clear? Yeah? Okay, yes, yes, yes. here we go. Only three mistakes, teacher. That is the instruction. That okay. is the instruction, okay? No, 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 no. Over here, over here, yeah. Here we go, go to your groups. I sent you the invitation. Okay. Rudy, go to group number three. Oh, you. Pequeño detalle. Tendría, ajá, tendría el call you. Ah, you could. Ajá, okay. Ajá. Okay, we did the gene with cool, not with you. Aquí sí creo que era de modificar el verbo. Perdón. Why? El, el, you could. El, ajá. Es que eso, en esa clase no me acuerdo si es. Lo que pasa es que después, eso únicamente hasta donde yo recuerdo, no sé si soy en lo correcto, en Will You, you Mind. 
que siempre es el verbo va con el ing. Si es go, el otro va ah, no, 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 no. Va en, la, su, en su en su forma base. Forma, forma base, base, correcto. Ah, correcto. Solo que, yes. okay. Absolutely correct. Y good. Hold. Hold y good. Hmm. This invitation to your Uh, no, ahí le faltaría el, el, el min. En la número 3 le faltaría el min. Dice, ¿te importaría enviar estas invitaciones, esta invitación a tu asistente? Mine. Asistente. Mine. Sin... Mind. Would you mind? Mind. Would you Would mind? Ajá. Uh -huh. okay. Entonces faltaría esa palabra. En la tres sería ese el error. En la cuatro. Would you mind ordering something? Allí lleva dos. Dos este. Por ejemplo, el verbo order. Está correcto. El otro no. Correcto. Entonces, ¿cómo quedaría? Would you? Come. Correcto. Could you come? Um, early tomorrow. Okay. Earlier. Ah, aquí es donde dice la teacher, ¿verdad? Early es solo temprano, ¿verdad? Y, y earlier es más temprano. Cuando nosotros decimos que podría venir más temprano mañana. Uh -huh. Ya yeah, se pone earlier. Correct. Ok. Ok. Ah, pues. Yes. Um... Finished. Sí. Yes. Finished. Okay. Let's get back and let's compare with the others. Okay. Very well done. We find three. Okay, people, here we go. Let's compare and let's see if we have all the uh, same uh, sentences. Would you mind moving your car? It's blocking mine. That is correct or incorrect? It's correct. 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 What about number two? Could you fill this purchase order? In In incorrect. incorrect. And what you is the correct sentence? Incorrect. Could you? Could yeah. you? Excellent, because it is a question, so we switch. At the beginning goes the modal auxiliary, and then we have, could you? Could. Feel. Feel. This. this purchase. Purchase. Order. order. And always question mark, purchase. Okay. 
Now, would you send in this invitation to your assistant? Is it correct or incorrect? Incorrect. 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 And the correct sentence should be? Incorrect. Well, you Could mind? you, Could you mind? mind sending? Would you mind sending? You mind sending. This is invitation. To, to your, your assistant. Question. Yeah. And then, would you mind, or there is some cheat? Is that correct or incorrect? It's correct. correct. It is correct. correct. What about number five? Correct. Would you come in, would you come in mm -hmm. earlier tomorrow? We need to receive our visitors. <coughs> incorrect. Okay. Incorrect. So it should be incorrect. Would you, would you, would you come, come, come? Would you come early tomorrow? Earlier tomorrow? Tomorrow we we need to receive our visitors. Our visitor. Okay, very well, class. Excellent. Remember, here we are. Uh, feedbacking, would you mind, and the ing verbs, okay, and would you, and the base form of the verbs. Very well, clap, 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 you did a great job. Now here, select the most appropriate answer for the request, okay? So uh, here you have this part. And remember that there is a specific answer according to the Modal auxiliary, because otherwise it would be the opposite, the opposite answer, yeah? So we have from one to five here, I'm going to, uh, would you like to do it alone or uh, individually, one by one or in the breakout rooms? How do you feel more comfortable? Breakout rooms. Breakout rooms. Okay. But I'm going to ask the platform to switch again the groups. Le voy a pedir a la plataforma que los combine nuevamente. So you interact with others. Okay, go to your groups. Flor. Flor, I'm going to send you an invitation because you were out. Actually, two times. Go to your groups. When I have a, a, a doubt because it says, would you order something to eat, please? Speak, speak so. For me, both answer must be correct. <laughs> but both answers is incorrect no, for you. Correct. Ah, correct. Ah, okay. Mm. Es que dice, energy. podrías ordenar algo de comer? Por favor, sí, sí, bueno. Es pizza, ok. Porque me gusta la pizza. Es <laughs> pizza. Teacher, what do you think about? Uh, for me, it's letter B. Which one? And, number two. Uh, number two, question. Ok, hold it. Could you order something to eat, please? It's pizza, ok. Mm -hmm. Probably letter B. Letter B? Mm -hmm. Okay. Number three, could you request more Jumbo paper clips, please? Uh, A. Right away. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because remember, yes. remember class, one thing, and this is the purpose of the feedback, yeah? That usually we answer those uh, sentences using uh, the auxiliary and verb. Uh -huh, but here they tell you 
answers to requests with could you are not mm -hmm. normally yes I could or yes I can. The expected answers are the actions that are requested. Entonces, lo que se espera que contestes es la acción de lo que se te está pidiendo, no como mm -hmm. yes no question, ¿ok? Uh, uh -huh. Ajá. Yeah. That is why uh, when Entonces, they suggest, I is, could pizza, do this. Is, is pizza okay? Es lo que te gustaría comer pizza o estaría bien si pido pizza? ¿Verdad? Acá. Yes. Is pizza okay? And then here in number three, right away. Yeah. Okay. Ah, right away. Right away. Yeah. Okay. 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 De acuerdo okay. a lo que les acabo de explicar. Okay. Go over number four. Right away. Right away. Sí. Creo que sí, right away, pero eh, estaríamos contradiciéndonos cómo respondimos en la primera. Teacher, eh, a la pregunta dos, nosotros, bueno, no suena bien. Nada que está que está bien contestar con una pregunta. La pregunta dos, que sería contestar con una pregunta. Something to eat, please. Ajá. Uh -huh. It's okay? Mhm. Uh -huh. ¿Sí? Ya. Es yes, yes, it's possible. Es posible es que escuchen. Sí, porque eh, vean lo que estamos reforzando acá, lo explicaba en otro equipo. Acá. Ah, uh, no. It is over here. Okay, over here. Answers to request. Answers to request with could you are not normally yes I could or yes I can. Ah, okay. The expected answers are the actions that are requested or short answers like the ones in the examples. Acá lo que se espera que se conteste es con uh -huh. la acción de lo que se está pidiendo. O en otro caso con Respuestas cortas como las que están acá. En ese caso, la más apropiada sería, ¿Is pizza ok? ¿Te parece pizza? ¿Te parece comer pizza? ¿Ya? Ok. okay. Sí. Válido. Pero, okay. pero sería válido también, yes, I could. Or... No. No porque es lo que les estoy diciendo acá, mire. Es lo que aparece acá. Cuando es una polite request, ¿verdad? Las respuestas with could you are not normally, no es normalmente usado yes I could or yes I can. Lo que se espera que usted conteste es una Ajá. respuesta a la acción que Ajá. se tiene, ¿sí? Okay, yeah. O respuestas cortas como las que están acá en los ejemplos, Ajá. ¿ok? Ahí, sí. okay. Ahí está la clave. That's it. Ok. Entonces, sí, it's, entonces, it's pizza, okay. Este, my boy. Oh. Podría ser my boss. Shoulder. ¿En cuál, no. en cuál, en cuál eh, oración van ustedes? Ya la este, terminamos. Ya hicimos las cinco. Vaya, díganme su respuesta. Estamos en el numeral 4, ¿verdad? Ese es el que están trabajando. Okay. ¿Sí? Yeah. Ok, díganme sus respuestas. Léanme la, la oración y la respuesta. Would you mind turning the lights on? No problem. Ok, continue. Would you order something to eat, please? Something to eat. Something to eat. Mm -hmm. Please. Please. Yes, I could. I could. No, esa es incorrecta. Está incorrecta. Ah, pensábamos... No, puedo, puedo compartir pantalla. Les voy a explicar okay. por qué. Ok. Ok. Vean. Les explico. Y ese es el propósito de este repaso. Acá estamos. Okay, here is the theory. Answers to requests with could you are not normally yes I could or yes I can. Acá tienen la base ustedes, miren. Las respuestas a las solicitudes o pedidos con could you 
normalmente no se contestan con yes I could or yes I can porque no son yes no questions. Como son polite requests, lo que se espera, la respuesta esperada o las respuestas esperadas son las acciones que te piden que hagas. O mm. respuestas cortas como las que aparecen acá en los ejemplos. Sure, right away, no problem. Mm. Mm -hmm. At the moment. Ah, entonces ahí cuál sería la respuesta. Nosotros pensábamos que porque uh -huh. if it's ok y tiene su signo de interrogación era como otra pregunta, contestaba con otra pregunta. Por sí, eso pero, elegí. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí, pero de acuerdo a esa situación, esa sería la correcta, porque acá le está sugiriendo eh, que si sí. puede ordenar pizza. Uh -huh. Ok, entonces okay. por eso esa sería la respuesta. Y en la número tres, ¿cuál contestaron? Could you request more jumbo paper clips, please? Right, right away. Right away, ok. Uh -huh. uh, would you mind getting 10 copies of this report? In a, In minute. a minute. Excuse me, could you turn down the volume a bit? Not a problem. Ok, con base a esa teoría, entonces sería not a problem, ok, or yes, of course, pero no con el auxiliar, de acuerdo okay. a lo que se explicó, sí. Ok, uh, let's return to the main session room. Ok. So we can share and clarify that situation because I've been moving from group to group and almost, almost, not all of them, but almost all the students were thinking the way that you were thinking. La mayoría estaba pensando en eso. ¿Cómo voy a contestar una pregunta con otra pregunta? Uh -huh. okay. Ajá. Yeah. Entonces vamos a clarificar. Pero ese es un, un como, como trick, como un truco, ¿verdad? Que les pone para que usted conteste, yes, I could, porque no puedo. Pero de acuerdo a la información que se da, la teoría no se espera que contestemos con yes, I could or no, I, I, no, I can't. Okay. Okay, let's get back. Rudy, Rudy Alexander. Rudy Alexander, your last name? Uh, Asensio. Remember the full name, okay? Asensio, I'm going to rename you. Okay. Okay, Asensio. Rudy, are you at home or are you at work? Tell me the truth. Dígame la verdad. ¿Está en la casa o en el trabajo? En la casa. Okay. That is good to know because I need you to stay with me 10 minutes after class, okay? Okay. It is your turn today. Okay. And, and it is good because today is not Friday. Okay. Thank you, Rudy. Okay, class, here we go. Let's compare our answers and let's verify if they are standardized for all the people in class. And here we go. Okay, I ask you the question, class, and you tell me the answer. Would you mind turning the lights on? The answer is? No problem. No problem. A problem. So it is letter A. Could you order something to eat, please? Is pizza, pizza okay? okay? Is pizza okay? Okay. okay. Great. Is pizza okay? Could you request more jumbo paper clips, please? Right away. Right away. Right away. Excellent. Would you mind getting 10 copies of this report? In a, in, a minute. Minute. in a minute. Excuse me. In a minute. Turn down the volume a bit. Not a problem. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, Carlos. They share the attendance. Okay, hola, hola. Carlos. Hola. Carlos. Carlos, hello. Hola. Carlos, would hello. you mind? Would you mind turning hola, off hola. your Would you mind turning off your microphone? Would you mind turning off your microphone? Would you mind turning off your microphone, Carlos? 
Carlos. Yes, teacher, yes. No me okay. escucha. Yes, yes, yes. No, would you mind no turning escucha. off? Turning off. That is why I'm ah. No, <laughs> pero no tenía que contestarme así. Yes, teacher, or no. At the moment, right away. Yeah. Entonces, vamos a practicar las estructuras, ¿sí? Ahí lo estaba testing, niño. In testing. In a minute. In a minute. Sorry, right teacher. away. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Right, right away. But what was the right problem? Right away, teacher. No, Excuse me. Teacher. Excuse uh -huh. me. No, but listen. The, the problem was that he thought the other way around. Él pensó de eh, forma contraria creyó que yo le pedía que activara el micrófono yes, uh, yes he yes. heard turn on and I said turning off would you mind turning off remember oh, when, you, okay. when you use the expression would you mind the verb must be in ing but the meaning is infinitive pero el significado es infinitivo ok and uh, right now okay. I'm going to uh, call your names in order to take the attendance before you go to the other activities. Uh, Andrea Lisbeth. Present. Thank you, Miss. Uh, Carlos. Present, teacher. Thank you. <laughs> in, in a minute, in a minute. In a teacher. minute, right now, right now, right away. Elizabeth. Right away. Elizabeth Johanna. Okay, she says that she is via, via chat. Uh, Evelyn? Present. Thank you, Miss Evelyn. Flor? Flor, are you back? Okay, thank you. Fredis? Eliseo? Okay, here. Hazel? Here, always. Here. Only one day you were absent, right, Hazel? Yes. Always here. Julio Cesar? Present teacher. Thank you. Catherine. Catherine. Beatriz. Present. Urbina Present. Galdames. Maria Isabel. Present. Thank you. Maria Leticia. Present teacher. Thank you. Marvin. Present. Thank you. Mateo, Matthew. Okay, Mateo. Mateo, I need you to continue working in the platform. Mateo, necesito que me trabaje mucho esa plataforma, okay? Miguel Ángel. Present, teacher. Thank you, sir. Natalia. Okay, Matthew. Natalie is absent. Rafa. Always here. present, teacher. Thank you, Rudy. Present. Thank you, Virginia. Present, teacher. And Javier. Present, teacher. <laughs> Wilber Francisco Javier. Okay, class. Here. Hey, you have been working in a very nice way in the feedback of the unit. Okay. So what are you going to do right now here? Write suggestions about the, the following behaviors. And you have one, two, three, four, and five. Sarah never stops chatting on the phone when we have lunch. What would you suggest her to do? Do you remember? Se recuerdan cuando hablábamos o criticábamos el comportamiento o la conducta de alguien, the behavior. Yeah, she should. Sí, tienes razón. She should, blah, blah, blah. Okay, ella debería. Yeah, do you remember that? My boss does not like to walk to my desk when he needs something. He shouts at me from his, oh, from his desk. He may not, and Susana, take my selfies when they are working. Okay, so you have to write a suggestion for them. Pablo posts the sign, uh, not a good time in his office door. So his team does not talk to him. Oh my God. Graciela always signs her emails with the emoji like this. What would you suggest to her? So you are going to write suggestions to these people using should, okay? Do you remember that? Yes? Yes. Okay, so no problem. I'm going to send you the invitation right away. At the moment, go to your groups. 
right in a away. Minute. In, in a, a minute. minute. No, <laughs> right now, right away. Okay, very well. Go to your groups and begin working, writing the suggestions. Floor, I need you in group number three. Catherine, go to group number three, please. Catherine. Catherine and Floor, go to your groups, please, girls. Join your groups and begin working in the feedback using the sentences with the modal auxiliary should. Write suggestions. Floor, we'll be waiting for you, Floor. The answer could be uh, Sara debería, ¿verdad? O oh, no Sarah debería. Should not. Yeah, the I suggestions, suppose. the suggestion could be uh, positive or negative, depending on the context, ¿ya? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. ¿Cómo lo queremos hacer? Should not. Entonces, para el primero. Sara. 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 Sharing, sharing on the phone when pero que sería ajá debería sería como Sara eh, should stop sharing on the phone when we have a lunch es como en vez del neve colocar el should Debería. Stop shaking. Shaking. Shaking, ¿cómo se dice? Shaking. 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 O sea, es decir, es decir Sara should stop. Ah, no, espera, espera. Sara should stop shaking on the phone when the have a lunch. ¿Estaría bien dicho? No sé. Yo... Sí, sería. No, eh, no, eh, no. Say it again, eh, Isa. Sara should. Sara should. should stop stop chatting. 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 Uh, perdón. Chatting. chatting. And <laughs> um, when, when we have a lunch. When we have lunch. Okay. Very well. <laughs> Good suggestion. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Entonces, Pero, ¿y, cómo, ¿y por qué no pronunciamos on the phone when we have a lunch? Muy larga la relación. Como Sara should stop sharing on the phone when we have a lunch. Yes, that's more specific. Yes. Okay. Entonces sería okay. Sara. Acá, acá. Sara would. Aquí voy a poner. En la dos podría ser my boss showing shoes when he needs something. Mi jefe no debería gritar cuando necesite algo. Shop not or not shop. <laughs> Should not equals shouldn't. Ajá, uh -huh, cualquiera de ellos. Uh -huh, uh -huh, oh. En la otra podría ser Jimena. And Susan should take many selfies. 
<clears throat> when they are working. Elena and Susan. Y men en su dijo should not should not take selfies when they are working. They are working. La otra no le entiendo qué dice Pablo post the scene. Pablo coloca el letrero. Uh -huh. No es un buen momento. Uh -huh. En la puerta de su oficina para que su equipo no le hable. <risa> Good strategy. <risa> Solo me recuerda a mi hijo cuando estaba chiquito, se enojaba, hacía un dibujito con un signo de alto y oh. lo pegaba en el cuarto. <risa> Stop it. <risa> Entonces sería Pablo Shouldn. Pablo no debería. Post de este post de zinc in his office door. Ajá. Omite el o not a good time. Ajá. In his office door. Graciela Ulway. Um, think Frank Kikino. Um, Graciela siempre firma sus emails con un emoji. No es correcto. <risa> o sería... Uh -huh. mm, sería algo así. Your boss should... Come to your desk. That is a good suggestion. But there might be others. Pero podrían haber otras sugerencias. Uh, uh -huh. Pero esa está you... bien. Ok, continue, Rafa. Ok. Ok, your boss does not... No, your Shouldn't. boss... Shouldn't. shouldn't shouldn't shout to to him to him to you to you mm -hmm. your boss shouldn't okay, shout, shouldn't uh -huh. your okay. boss shouldn't shoot to you uh-huh your yes, boss shouldn't shout shouldn't shout, shout, shouldn't shout to you at me at me, ah, okay. Ah, no, at you, at you, at yeah, you. because you are giving the suggestion to him. Okay, mm -hmm. your boss shouldn't shout at you, but also uh, Evelyn's uh, suggestion is correct. Okay, both are correct. Las dos están bien, yeah? 
Okay, add to. Okay. Sure. Write two sentences. Te compartiría la mía. Okay. Um, Jimena and Susan. You should not. You see, Moy. Use. Ajá, me parece. Use. Use emojis. Emoji. On her image. On her image. Okay. Yes, we finish. Wow, excellent. Congratulations. Just in time. <laughs> Remember you, that Christian. suggestions might vary. Okay. Recuerde que las sugerencias pueden variar. Sí. Okay. Porque es en su opinión la sugerencia que para usted sería lo más conveniente. Pero Positive and negative. Decir, yeah. Another team could have a different one. And if it is okay, no problem. Right? Okay. Okay. okay, so here we go. Let's get back then and then we share. Okay. 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 Well Vamos a compartir la, la, el slide, teacher. No. Only, no, only some suggestions, okay, from different groups. Okay. So we okay. can share, yeah. Okay, in a minute, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. But they are focused working on that. Yeah, because of the time, because you need to go to relax, to rest. Let's wait for the others to come back. They will be back in 12 seconds. There it's are two groups still working. Yes, sir? Chatting se puede le, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Interpretar como hablar o, o so only text. No. Eh, if you say uh, chatting on the phone, it uh -huh. is texting. But if okay. you say chatting, it is only verbal. Yeah, face to face. Uh, okay. 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 Thank it's you. My pleasure. So here we go, class. We are open to different suggestions. Remember that your suggestions is valid, but they might vary, pero pueden variar. If I say, Sarah never stops chatting on the phone when we have lunch. What do you suggest? Opinions? Suggestions? Okay. She shouldn't chat on the table. She shouldn't chat? On the table. Okay, at the table, at the table. At, at the table. Yeah, because on means that she is on. At the ah, table. Okay. Uh -huh. Another suggestion for number one? No other suggestion for number one? No hay otra sugerencia para la número uno? Um, yes, teacher. Okay. Um, she should leave her phone for after eating. Before eating. Before eating. Okay, sorry. sorry she sorry. should leave her phone maybe uh, away before leaving. Away, lejos. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Now, number two. My boss does not like to walk to my desk when he needs something. He shouts at me from his uh desk suggestions for that boss 
Me, teacher. Okay. He should not shoot at me from his desk. He should not. Okay, el consejo es una reflexión. He should yes. not shout at me from his desk. Very well. Another suggestion. Your boss shouldn't shout at you. Okay, excellent. Now, number three. Jimena and Susan take my selfies when they are working. The suggestion? They, they should, should not, not continue, continue. They should not take many selfies when they are working. Okay, that's good. Another one that is different, probably. They they shouldn't take selfie when they are working. Okay, thank you. Number four, Pablo posts the sign "Not a good time" in his office door, so his team does not talk to him. The suggestion for Pablo: He should not post the sign in his office door okay. because your team needs to talk him. Because the team needs to talk to him very well, yes. very explicit. Now, number five, Graciela always signs her emails with the emoji. The suggestion for Graciela is? She should use emoji, her email. He shouldn't, she shouldn't use emojis. Emoji. In her emails, yes? yes, in her emails, very well. Okay, so now the last activity, uh, Miss uh, Hazel, are you here? Hazel, yes. okay, I need yes, you to share the screen for the next exercise because your classmates are going to dictate to you from these phrases which are formal and which ones are informal. So you are going to write them here the ones from this list that are formal and the ones that are informal. We are at page 38, okay? This is the closing. Get ready and dictate, classify these expressions as formal and informal and she's going to be, okay, taking notes. Share the screen, Miss, if it is Sorry, possible. Sorry, but I don't have a, a, in a screen, I just uh, use Really? Read. Okay. Yes. So, Mister, would you mind? Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, the slide. Show the slide. Okay, this one. So tell me, class. Okay, you dictate to me. Which from these expressions are you know formal? In salutations when writing. Okay. Here, classify the salutations and closings into formal or informal. Okay, which ones are formal? Hello, Mr. Hello, Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Okay. Hello, Mr. Mrs. Mrs. Okay, another one. Dear friend. Dear friend. Dear friend. Best regards. Best, Best regard. regards. Another one. Morning. No. 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 no morning. Good no. Morning. Informal. Mm -hmm. Just informal. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now <laughs> let's move to the informal ones. I see, see you. See you. Hey. Hey you. What's up? Hey. Uh, uh -huh. What's up? Mm -hmm. My yes. Yes. Which one? Thanks. Ah, uh, ah, uh, but this morning. is morning. Talk so. Thanks. Yeah. So, so. So, so. I, with capital. Okay. Uh, next one, you Thank said you. morning, morning. Morning and morning. my bed. Mm, which one? My bed. My best. Yes. yes. My best. Ah, my beginning. Okay. Over here, my best. Okay, so there you are. We have classified these salutations. 
okay? And closings for formal or informal emails. And you see, they have more informal, yes, than formal. Okay, so let's go into practice, the formal ones. Okay, class, uh, this is the closing for unit number three. Tomorrow, we're going to start with unit number four, okay? Rudy is going to stay with the teacher for the one-on-one -on -one session tonight. For the rest of you, thank you very much. Bye-bye. Take care. Have bye -bye. a good night. Take Relax. Care. See bye -bye. you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 See you. Bye-bye. Bye. Only Rudy sure. stays with the teacher. Bye-bye. Take care. See you. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye, Rafa. Bye, Julio. Bye, Catherine. Bye, teacher. Have a good night. Bye bye. Okay, here we go, Rudy. Bye bye, Catherine. Bye bye, Rafa. Okay, Rafa, are you with me? Yes. Rafa. I mean, Rudy. Rudy. Rudy, are you yes, here? Teacher. Okay, Rudy. Yes, teacher. Here we go. Do you see my screen? Observa mi pantalla, Rudy. Sí. Yes. Okay, I'm going to ask you to practice reading with me, okay, tonight. And here we go. Okay. This says the article that we began practicing yesterday. So you read and later I'm going to help you. Begin with paragraph one, please. There are many workplace etiquette. Mm, well, what is the Guidelines. pronunciation? Guidelines. 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 No, guidelines. Know, guidelines. Guidelines. But the most important is, is to be punctual to your office. If you are late because you had an emergency, that is okay. And, however, uh, however, however, habitual late commerce are never appreciated in any organization. If you get to your office on time, you show that you are responsible and you respect the organization. If you know that you will be late, then I call a good etiquette. Mm -hmm. Guideline will be to call the Concerning authority, authority and report the reason why you are late. Okay, so here guidelines. Repeat after me: guidelines. Guidelines. Emergency. Emergency. However. However. Appreciated. However. Appreciated. Appreciated. Okay, now let's go over paragraph number two, the second paragraph, please. Etiquette is also, also important when you have to communicate with employees or clients in any, any part of the world. In those cases, it is necessary necessary to have goal knowledge of the workplace, email etiquette of other countries in the official emails and need to mention the subject, subject clearly and be concise. Concise. You also need to include all the important details. You should use formal and grammatically correct correct language for emails. Okay, repeat after me. Also, also cases cases. 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 You need to mention. You need to mention. Clearly. Clearly. 
Concise. Concise. Should. Should. In this uh, word, should, the L is not pronounced. La L no la pronunciamos, okay? Should. Should. Okay, now let's go over this third paragraph. In addition, knowledge. Okay. In addition, knowledge of telephone etiquette in the workplace is very essential. We have to speak on the telephone at some point during our daily work. Be polite we, when you talk to your employees or your supervisor. Listen, listen to what they say careful and do not interrupt. Be sure your voice is clear when you speak the voice grounds interpretation. Okay, to avoid wrong, avoid wrong. wrong interpretations. Avoid wrong interpretation. Okay, repeat after me, knowledge. Knowledge, knowledge. Avoid. Avoid. Wrong. Wrong interpretation. Okay, remember that in knowledge, the K is not pronounced. La K no mm -hmm. se pronuncia. Ron, W is not pronounced. Ron, okay? Ron, now, okay. okay. Go over the last paragraph. Etiquette guidelines. Etiquette guidelines are important even when you, you are celebrating with your co-workers. If you get to a call when you are eating, say, excuse me, and they receive the call. Do not talk slowly while eating, eating. Mm -hmm. and remember to close your mouth when you chew. Continue. You, you should, mm -hmm. should remember that your behavior and manners are under observation, follow etiquette guidelines, can place play a very vital role for future pronunciation. Pronun promotions. Promotions. Okay, repeat after me, even? Even. Should. Should. Vital. Vital. Promotions. Promotions, okay. okay. Repeat after me, guidelines. Guidelines. Emergency. Emergency. However. However. Appreciated. Appreciated. Also. Also. Cases. Cases. You need to mention. You need to mention. Clearly. Clearly. Concise. Concise. Should. Should. Knowledge. Knowledge. Avoid. Avoid. Wrong. Wrong. Interpretations. Interpretation. Even. Even. Should. Should. Vital. Vital. Promotions. Promotions. Okay, very well. And now I think we have time for this conversation, okay? I am Amanda and you are Luis. Do you okay. often send emails? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate to use abbreviations in business emails? No, it, it is not professional. I see, could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yes, yeah, sure. Now switch, you begin. Do you often send email? Yes, I do. It is appropriate. No, it is no. It is no. Is it? Is it? Is it? Okay. Uh -huh. Is it appropriate to use abbreviation in in business email? No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips 
to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. Repeat after me to the appropriate. Appropriate. No. Acá lleva una R, mire, en la última sílaba. Appropriate. Tal cual como ah, se okay. escribe. Appropriate. A appropriate. Excelente. Appropriate. Appropriate. Excellent. Okay. That's it. That's correct. And now here we have uh, another one. I am Claudia and you are old. I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? You're right. He should not, should not chat in, meeting, in a meeting. Absolutely. That is not polite. He should answer his messages after this, after the meeting. And we should not talk about him. That's not polite either. Mm, I agree. We should help him instead. Now let's switch. You be you begin. I can't believe it, Robert. He's addicted to his his phone. Did you see him? You're right. He should not chat in a meeting. Absolute, absolutely. That is not polite. He should, he should answer his messages after the meetings. And we should not talk about him. That's not polite either. Agree. He should help, help him in staying. Okay. Repeat after me, addicted. Addicted. Answer. Answer. Acá no pronunciamos la W. Answer. Answer. Talk. Talk. Either. 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 You have two pronunciations for this word. Either, either, both are correct. Repeat after me. Either. 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 Instead. Instead. Okay. So we practice a little bit pronunciation today. Uh, Rudy, thank you very much for giving me your time. Okay. Rudy, necesito que trabaje en la plataforma, por favor. De acuerdo. Teacher, la finalicé. Creo que esta no sé si podría revisarla. Veamos. Como, digamos, Rudy, no, Rudy, no. Rudy, 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 Rudy. Eh, Rudy, Rudy, eh, mm, aquí me tiene una con 20%. El homework de Rudy Alexander Asensio de la semana 4 me lo tiene con el 20%. Y el examen final me lo debe, pero lo que sí si me ha terminado al 100%, Rudy, es la semana 1, la semana 2 y la semana 3. Y me aparece con el 80% en el midterm. No, ese es el homework. En el midterm test me sacó 95, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces, sí, vamos bien hasta la semana 3. En la semana 4 hay que tratar de meterle porque las vacaciones se vienen, ¿verdad? Entonces, no se les vaya sí. a olvidar porque cuando regresemos de vacaciones, tienen ya que haber terminado. Mañana iniciamos la unidad 4, ¿ok? Thank you very much. Okay. Congratulations on your performance. Go and relax. Have a good night. See you tomorrow, okay? Have a good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Sleep well.